welcome everybody to the standout at Congressman Jim McGovern's office. We're reminding him that we want negotiations, we want the killing to stop, we want the war to stop, and we're a group of people who are concerned and we're all going to say something to you to try to encourage you to wake up to uh, what's been happening to, to how this, the knee-jerk anti-Russian behavior has got to stop. We've got to name it and stop it. We have to negotiate before it's too late. That's good. Good slogan. That's we can good. march with that. <laughs> too late for civilization. The enemy to humanity is war itself. And in, we always think that this war is important, but it, 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 we had, we, World War I was the war to stop all wars. Why are we still having them? War only profits the weapons manufacturers in the exactly. long run, not really the Ukrainians, yeah. who we also support. Right. Being on the brink of a nuclear disaster is such a crisis, also an opportunity to start diplomacy to end this nonsense. You know, the United States, unfortunately, is such a violent country, um, internally and externally, and we must, we must find the ways to change the the seeds of violence and war making that are really strong in this country, to go back to our old ways of aggression and bullying other countries, and um, you know, like uh, folks here have been saying, this is the time we're really on the precipice of of losing life itself. We must see this. We must realize we don't have enemies. We must not create them. We don't have enemies. What we have is, you know, the humanity that is living in one part of the world or another. Treat people with respect and we can find our way forward. But as long as we keep putting people in these boxes called evil and so on, you know, really there's no future. It's a very serious appeal to um, Congressman McGovern. You know, we, we have walked with you, you have walked with us, and we're inviting you to walk with us again. Please listen. It is a very, very deep and urgent cry to you. Please listen. Thank you. Um, we're just asking for diplomacy. We just want to hear conversations about ending conflict, not just funneling billions and billions of dollars into it in the name of violence. We're just asking uh, for that conversation to happen, and we're here uh, at Congressman McGovern's office to seek him to be a forerunner in this conversation, to even just sign this simple letter um, seeking resolution. Hi, Rich. Sixty years ago this month, uh, President Kennedy reversed course and found a way to avert a nuclear confrontation with the Soviet Union. President Biden yesterday said Putin needs an off-ramp, and it is the United States that needs to provide that off-ramp. At the beginning of the war, the United States and the United Kingdom prevented negotiations that were near to success. So we're hoping when we meet with um, Congressman McGovern uh, on Wednesday, he will take a message that our president needs to reverse course like President Kennedy did. President Biden can follow that example because the stakes could not be higher. We are very close to a nuclear war in which none of us would survive. Yes, we want to see negotiation and, dis and diplomacy, and you can't negotiate if you don't talk to each other. That should not be ruled out to begin with in order to make sure that nothing 
less than something awful happens. Well, we can sum it up all with a little music. I all, have to say. all we are saying, <laughs> give peace a chance at the end. I'm, I defer. Well, I think yeah. I've all spoken already. Uh, Senator McGovern, why are you participating in this warmongering? You know how dangerous it is. You know the suffering that's happening because of it. And why aren't you and others in Congress who do know too, leading us out of this? That's what we need. And if you want to stop the suffering and the human rights abuses and all of those things, then just step forward and do the right thing and lead us out of it. The people would be behind you then. We're looking forward to meeting with Congressman McGovern's office next Wednesday, and we really appreciate having been able to work within the last few years on other really important issues like humanitarian issues in Venezuela and lifting the sanctions. And I know that Congressman McGovern has also been a champion of speaking out against hunger in this country and the billions and billions and billions of dollars that we're sending to Ukraine in a needless war is money that also could be going to feed hungry people in Massachusetts. And so there is no need for a war. What we've been asking myself and several other constituents have been emailing McGovern's office, reaching out to McGovern's office, asking him as a starting point to sign on to a letter that's already circulating in Congress with Rep. Jayapal, just talking about the need for negotiations and asking the United States to take a position of peace in ending the conflict. And all war, other people have said this as well, all war is against, you know, against the interests of humanity. It's money that can always be spent for to, you know, to reduce and eradicate hunger, for housing, for all these things that people here in Ukraine and across the world desperately need. Um, and this war in particular is extremely worrying um, because it has the potential to set off a nuclear war that we've never seen before. And when you really start to look at that, I recently learned more. I mean, I wasn't around the last time, you know, during the Cold War. It was before my time. And learning more about what it could mean to have the repercussions of nuclear winter, where even if you stop the explosions, there's so much ash in the atmosphere that, you know, that you can, people with lighter skin can burn after six minutes just by being outside. These are the kinds of, I mean, it could put an end to planet Earth. And I, and I don't say that lightly. I mean, I climate change is already a huge issue that we're facing and so to set off a nuclear war doesn't only have the impacts of the nuclear weapons but the catastrophic impact that that would mean that people would not be able to inhabit this planet and I there are studies that have been done on this I you know I, I work with Tricontinental Institute for Social Research we recently put out a hundred page study with monthly review no cold war and other institutes and peace platforms calling to say, basically to call attention to the disastrous impacts of this war. And so as, you know, Congressman McGovern is someone who's really spoken up for, spoken up against hunger and, and for our communities here in many ways, we're asking him, who's, who's really led the way. And I, I just got back from Venezuela not too long ago, and people there are talking about the letter that he wrote and has taken such a leadership role in so many areas. We're asking him to take a leadership role here in, in preventing what could be a, a planet-ending planet catastrophe. And I say that with no exaggeration. So we, we look forward to meeting on Wednesday. Vortex refuser and a conscientious objector to all warfare, so of course I'm against this war. And yet I understand that many, many, many wonderful, caring people believe in the concept of a just war and um, who actually really want to protect people and sometimes uh, go along with that concept. But. Um, I'm reminded of uh, Howard Zinn, uh, the historian, uh, who was a bombardier during World War II, uh, a quote that I often go back to and remember that he said, which is uh, that modern warfare is the worst enemy of all. And I think that's what we have to, we have to look at, who really is the enemy here? And um, in terms of human beings, we need to talk, we need to negotiate, and not let war, the worst enemy, have the last word.
Um, the U.S. government, over the since the war has started in Ukraine, has been sending hundreds of millions of dollars of weapons to Ukraine to fight the war, and that really benefits no one in the U.S. And of course, it may benefit some people in Ukraine, but. The people who really benefit are the defense contractors in the U.S. who are getting paid for all these weapons, many of which do business in Massachusetts. And we think that Jim McGovern should be against the war in Ukraine and should be seeking peace because those weapons are only going there to kill more people. And even once the war ends, those weapons will not just disappear magically. There will be much violence afterwards because weapons will be readily available to anyone who wants them. So I think Jim McGovern really needs to align with people in his constituency and seek peace instead of sending more and more weapons to Ukraine. Yay! 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 <laughs> just to underline what you said about that he's hunger, this is directly against his issue of hunger. Right. And he went to this uh, weekend at Hadley for climate change, he's totally advocated for that. Yeah. This goes directly against those yeah. principles, I mean, to, to, to be for a war. Tying those two yeah. together, as yeah, they said, good. seems to be, yeah. yeah. Um, for him to involve more young people. Representative McGovern, we want food, not war. We thought you wanted food also. All right, Peter, go ahead. No, can I say one, just one last thing? That uh, if you all know Claudia and Nick Moturn and myself, we'll just put together a march with Monty's March, you know, for yes. that, that's too. coming, come in, Susan, right, it's coming in November. Please come and join us. We, we're going to set up an hour. Hour for November 21st. We're going to set up an hour, I mean, a mile walk in and out of Northampton following Monty and bring your signs. Um, you know, my sign it says bloated military, hungry children. So, and, but there'll be others. Uh, but I think the theme. Right, the theme is food. Food, not bombs. Right. And the bread, not bombs. Right. That's, that's the theme. By so anyway, it's going to be November twenty first. So there, well, there is one more appeal to, to McGovern that that I want us to make. That McGovern grew up learning about the Cold War. Many of us who are here lived through it, and he was certainly has certainly been influenced by it. He has changed his attitudes towards so many things, his stance toward hunger, his, his stance toward Latin America. We heard about how he changed his mind about Venezuela. Uh, the anti-communist, the anti-Russian narrative of this country has got to be further shattered. Some of us thought it had been, but obviously the knee-jerk reaction is back mainstream media keep saying it's Putin who is crazy it's those terrible Russians it's the terrible it's the terrible communist Russians and everybody who is my age 60s and 70s heard that time and again and now we need to say no this was just a bunch of baloney and so we're imploring our congressman who knows better who knows better who's witnessed with Oscar Romero in, in El Salvador, who has been uh, in the front lines all over Latin America, to continue that, to know, I mean, he stood with the Cubans for God's sake. You know, he's, he's the champion of the Cuban people in this country. He stands against and, and, and challenges the President of the United States about Cuba. So come on, Jim, get with the program. And, and remember that it's really the, the enemy, as, as people have been saying, is war. It's not Putin. It's not, it's not even our military. It's war itself. We have to dismantle both the military and, and wars. Bravo. 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 Give us a song. Give us a song. You ready, Mikey? Give us a song. Say,
give peace a chance. All we are saying is give peace a chance. All we are saying is give peace a chance. Because we're saying a little bit more, we're saying, Paz, queremos paz y libertad en este mundo. Paz, queremos paz y libertad en este mundo. Translated, peace. We want peace and liberty throughout the whole world. So thanks. Come back and see the uh, congressman on Tuesday. And, uh, yeah. Join Monty's March on the 21st. Monty's March. There'll be yes. something about that. Uh, Coming soon. Is it Wednesday at 2.30? Yeah, 2.30. Wednesday at 2.30. Okay. Fuck, is there room enough to meet inside? Oh, we're going to meet outside probably. Uh -huh. You know, the, he, this is one of the things that McGovern has done. He's met with us outside. He has had conversations with us. Nice. He has had his mind chance. Thank you so much. You can do it again.